Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, DJ Marcus. And today I'm going to break down a remix that I'm almost finished for a talented artist out of Amsterdam called Ali Washin. I think I have his name right. Don't judge me on that. So this original track is called Light in Us. I'm going to leave a link down below in the video comments, the notes rather. It's a great more R&B, it's all gospel of course, but R&B flavored. It's um, the BPM is about 95. It's real smooth. What I've decided to do was to take it, flip it, and make it into an I'm a Piano style remix. Now, if you're not familiar with I'm a Piano, I'm a Piano is a style from South Africa around about 2012, 2013. It's championed by such producers down there like um, Master KG and um, I can't think of the other guy's name right off the top of my head. But it's a it's a loungy, 115 BPM, 110 BPM type uh, flavors of style of house music. That's what I would contribute to be house music, but more of a lounge style, side of it. It's very piano-y. It's, well, because of the, it's called I'm a Piano, it really is piano i think that's zulu but i like that it also has some heavy drums that comes in one of the main styles one of the main instruments you would call is a log drum that comes in and cuts through so uh, i am a drummer by upbringing i've been uh, doing percussions all of my life literally and this style really really uh, draws to me in, in my production style so i'm going to be doing more of i'm a piano with my current styles of house music and Afro house, uh, soulful house that I put out there. Of course, everything that I do is what? Gospel inspired. So let's get into the mix. So I, I brought over the stems that um, he sent over to me. And first thing I did was I chopped it up and I wanted to be able to grab some of the elements of there and then layer my, mine on. Now I am um, utilizing Machine Studio uh, from Native Instruments, Machine 2.0. I think it's the best DAW that's out there. Um, I have the Machine Studio here, also have the complete uh, keyboard as well. And uh, this is just my my DAW. So you guys can create on whatever you like. This is what I like. So let's get into it. So let's listen to the actual first piece. Let me go and solo that. This is coming from the original track. I love those synths. I have them layered. All right, let me unsolo that. Now, next thing I'm doing, I'm going to bring in my kick and a little effect there. So again, this is I'm a piano house music. We're going to slow it down to 115 BPMs. Now, next piece, I'm going to bring in my own chords. So I'm playing the chords on the end. So you're hearing when they come in. So I'm still, I have the original feel of it, but I'm just doing it on the end and a different chord. So let's play that part. And then I'm bringing in some shakers here. Of course, the vocals are inside the track. Let me, I'm gonna leave it in there right now. Come on. So now the track comes in. Going through hardship, going through the misery. Many people don't know what to do with living hardship. They can beat all of us. There is light. Now, one thing I always attribute when you're working on remixes for artists, make sure that you get the vocals and the vocals are there. And sometimes you may have to tweak it here and there, but often if you work with established artists like Ala Washin, the vocals are already come, they're already packaged, they even already have the effects on them. Sometimes I like it to be just the raw vocals without the effects and I put my own flavor. But in this instance, his effects that were already on his vocals work very well. So I didn't really bother with the effects I uh, put a little compression on it, and then um, I, I mixed them to my own liking to my ear. But other than that, everything is straight from the artist. Let's keep on listening. It's not love us, just admit it's all in us. Oh, everybody wants to live, ain't nobody wants to give. Show me where's the love in this, show me fear so I think vaccine. They can't be the love us, there is light, it's not love us. Now... Coming up in this next um, next bar, 
will I'm start bringing start to bring in some of the I'm a piano type um, styles flavors. You hear uh, a flute that's on the end, and you you just listen to it. You you'll get the feel. Just at me, it's a Linus. Oh, I don't wanna make this about me. Love my people, that's my recipe. Telling the truth to set us free. Sit back and relax. That would be okay. No, that would be me now. Oh no. Going through hardship, going through the. Okay, so at the end of that, you hear a a a low kick feel that I love. I love the drops. A little eight, it's a little 808 kick that I have that's dropping in that feel that I roll into uh, the actual chorus. And now I said I love house music, so I'm bringing in a straight up Detroit hi-hat that's coming in a little low to the right-hand side, but I'm tss, tss, just bringing that in there because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a house producer. I love my house, and I love a good acid style DJ Pierre type hi hat. That's what I call it. So I'm kind of mixing my own flavors there. Is I'm a piano in nature, but I'm gonna still layer some DJ Marcus flavor, some different styles that I've attributed and grabbed, gravitated to over the years into the track. When you're producing, you can always start with a style, but make it uniquely yourself because you're pr promoting and putting yourself into that track as a producer, as an artist, as a singer, as a writer. Put yourself into the track. That's my little tidbit for this piece. Let's keep going. Misery. Many people don't know what to do with living hardship. They can't beat all of us. There is light, none of us. Just admit something us. Oh, everybody wants to live. Ain't nobody wants to give. Show me where's the love in this. Show me fear so I think vaccine. They can't be the love us. There is light, none of us. Just admit something us. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now right here, this vamp. I dropped out the the hi hat and because I'm setting up the next scene that's coming down the line, which will be bringing in the log drums, which is a particular. They're going to be strong. They're going to be out front, but that's I'm a piano. So let's, let's listen to that as well. Oh, whoa, whoa. So you notice the lock drum is a tuned lock drum. So not only am I playing the rhythm, but I'm also keeping it within the actual key, which is if there were a bass line, then that bass would be this actual flow um, or, or that uh, that. I guess that flow of it. So I'm I'm playing it in the key, but I'm I'm also playing a drum part of it as well. So it's almost a mixture of a drum instrument, but a tuned a, a tuned drum instrument with a bass line layered over together with that. That's what I would call a traditional log drum. And if you um, listen to a lot of the Ama piano, you'll hear that throughout the uh the type of songs because that is a major instrument that is utilized in i'm a piano now often they'll will also layer a snare over top of it so you have three layers you have a lock drum a bass often an 808 bass or 808 sounding bass that has a long tail on it when you hit it 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 flows out and then also they'll layer a snare on top of that as well it's like a pie that is a standard uh, breakdown of, of a typical log drum style in on a piano. In this instance, I just did the drum and the bass, and then I'm going just doing the snare itself. Now, another characteristic of I'm a piano is <clears throat> none of this is actually synchronized. You play it. You play it either on a piano. In my case, I have the machine studio here. I'm actually playing all of this and triggering it from the actual device itself. We don't synchronize it on a piano. You let it flow. It's, it's your expression. You don't clock it in. And now the kick, 
and the snare may be synchronized, but the log drum portion of it is never synchronized. Let's keep it flowing. Through the stereo, whether you like it or not, we're taking over the show. This is what we do. Now break the rules. Let's go. Going through the hardship, going through the misery. Many people don't know what to do with living hardship. They can't beat all of us. There is light, all of us. Just at me telling us, oh, everybody. And then we go back through the chorus, and then like a stack, we stack it up. And then we break it down on the back side. So we break it down at the it's end here. Always add your effects in. When you're producing tracks, throw your effects in there. I love sweeps. I love cymbal crashes. Um, you can bring in some special sci-fi sounds in there. Whatever flavor you like, make sure you incorporate your effects because the effects in the song is what gives it it ties it all together. You can throw a track in there and not have any effects, but it sounds, you, you, you can't anticipate the transition. They're like a transition. When you feel that sweep come up, you know, them, say, hey, something's coming up. And that's what, that is what ties the entire song together. If you listen to a lot of these songs on the radio, transition, sweeps, effects are always a part of that in order to tie it all together. So just wanted to jump online I'll jump on video real quick and, and give a breakdown of how I created the remix for Light It In Us. And just keep your eye out. It'll be coming out pretty soon. And we have a lot more remixes, a, a lot of new songs that's coming out from the Salt Shaker Music Camp here, based in the U.S., but working with artists all around the world, particularly in my mother of Africa. Shout out to Allah Washington. Shout out to my manager, George, in Amsterdam. And we'll catch you back on the flip side. Peace.